Alright, welcome back. Today I just want to do a quick tip for you. I had a question earlier today on how do I uh, just isolate one particular polygroup for a displacement and leave the rest alone. And I was like, okay, well, let me work on that. Uh, one method would be to uh, uh, generate a separate subtool. So say like you wanted just this spot, this uh, purple area here, to be displaced and nothing else. You could do it that way. Uh, you can uh, just use your Z modeler and tear off a piece of it. Let me show you. You can do Q mesh, polygroup island, click and drag, and hold hold down your control. And as you can see, it's created a separate piece of geometry. And you can actually you can hide him and then do a split hidden inside your subtool. And that'll create a separate so split hidden. You could do it that way and have a separate tool that has its own UV set and wouldn't have to worry about it. But I got another way we could do that today. Okay, so now we're back to this mesh here. So as you can see, I've got three separate uh, polygroups in here. One for the cavity, one for the edge, and then one for the sphere itself. Okay, so this way we can isolate things and make our displacements work. So today I'm going to show you how to put a specific displacement in here and then a specific displacement out here. You can uh, set uh, these things up in a UV editor, but ZBrush doesn't have a very powerful UV editor. So you actually have to take it out of ZBrush and work on it there, like in Blender, Maya, or Max. You can use one of them. Or we could do a little workaround in here to make it work inside ZBrush, which I like to do because I, I really don't want to leave ZBrush. I want to try to do it all in here. So I, you have to figure out little workarounds for things. And we're going to use morph targets to help us out. So let's go ahead and set up just a quick and easy UV map here. 4096, map border 0, create, just UVP. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to mess with the repeats and all, at all this time. Uh, I go over that quite a bit in other videos, so I'll let you guys go look at them and see how you can tile things and a little export and import trick to get ZBrush to displace it correctly. So, continuing on, let's load up a texture map. So, I'm going to go to number four, which uh, I will have this uh, pack available for you on a link in the description. So, you can load them up, play with them all you want. So, we got our basic map there. Let's go to our displacement. Just need to find the corresponding depth pass so for BPR depth load him up turn mode on intensity up I think we'll just do 0.04 for the time being and then start dividing them up I think I'm gonna bring them up to about 2 million here I don't really want to go any higher here It'll just get real sluggish on us Alrighty, so we're at 2 million. Now, we're going to uh, apply our displacement, but prior to that, you want to open up this morph target and then click store MT for store morph target. Don't need to mess with all the dials, just leave them. Now apply displacement. Give it a second. Alright, it has applied the displacement. Turn quick 3D edit back on. All right, so I did it to the whole mesh. We only want this part right here, correct? All right, so we still have the poly groups in there. They're still it's still part of the mesh. You can't see it because you know you can turn polyfill on. You can't see it right now because the texture map is still turned on. Okay, now you can see it. So, but you it'll still uh, react to it. So have your select rectangle turned on. Okay, we isolated them. 
All you have to do is do control click outside the object, that'll mask it. And then control shift outside the model. And now we're back out, everybody's visible, and our little portion here is masked out. So now all you have to do is go to B, M, and then O for more. So now we have our morph brush. I'm gonna raise him up real large here. And then just uh, turn your M MRGB off for the moment. And now, as you can see, we're taking away all the displacement with the exception of the masked area. And if you're not sure you got it all, turn your texture off and you can see that we're nice and smooth like we were before. Turn your texture back on. Alright. Now, how do I keep that uh, color information? I don't want all this texture around here. Okay. Well, since we're at 2.5 million right now, you can actually use polypaint. Now, polypaint is all based off of how dense your geometry is. If it's real low, you don't get very high resolution on there. But since we're in the millions right now, it's gonna it's gonna work fantastically. But first, you only want the paint to go right here. Well, we're still masked, right? So control click outside your object. We reversed it. Great. Now go under poly paint and then poly paint from texture. And you gotta make sure MRGB is on. Poly paint from texture. Boom. It cleared out the texture. And now this is actually poly paint information. So now we can clear our mask and now I can place uh, a different displacement on the outside here. I'll show you that now. We're going to keep the UV map the same. I'm not going to mess with him. We're just going to change our base texture here. Uh, let's go to number two. Alright. Okay, great. Turn that on and then change your displacement to the corresponding there you go now they'll match up nicely and turn mode on we'll just keep the previous settings for now alright I'm pretty happy with that make sure you go back into your morph target delete the previous morph target store the morph target okay now, apply your displacement. Okay. Now we did that. Now, we've got our displaced geometry. But now all that work we did in there is just garbage. Okay. So, but we could fix that. Now, do your control shift. Click in there again. And then click outside with control. Control shift again. Okay. Now control. There we go. We we reversed it now. Now you can go back and do your morph in here and reclaim all that work from earlier. Okay. It still looks a little funky right now because we still have that other texture map playing with us right now. So switch your mask, reverse it, and then do real fast, go back to your poly paint, poly paint from texture, and I know, I keep on turning that off, and boom, there you go. You now have two different displacements or you can do no displacements on this outside part just depends on what you're looking for we can still play with that morph because the morph target is in there as you can see our geometry over here is a little crazy right now so I'm gonna scale him down I'm gonna take his focal shift all the way to the center so we don't want a super huge morph going on here. Change the intensity down and then turn that off or he's going to 
he's gonna if you have any color information it remembers that color information too so we don't want him affecting that all we want is just affect the geometry and we can bring some of that back it's not perfect so you obviously have to do some tweaking so keeping it real low setting you can actually raise the size up I think it will work a little better because that focal shifts real low and we can fix some of that wonky geometry there so I ain't gonna get into trying to make it perfect right now but you kinda get the sense of how this works so clear a mass now we have that those two different uh, displacements in there and we stayed inside ZBrush and you can actually if you want it you could drop the subdivisions all the way down and you could do use the UV master and make a uh, more traditional UV unwrap and generate textures that are there because all this is is poly paint information now there's no texture map texture is not turned on it's all poly paint and you can generate uh, ambient occlusion and normals and uh, another displacement you can do all the traditional stuff that way so hope this uh, comes in handy for some of you and let me know give me a comment come talk to me on ZBrush Central happy to hear your opinions and I will talk to you later